timeline of a story. Sometimes you, they won't feel an impact of a DHV, you're not running one until all the way near the end and they'll believe that because there wasn't anything, right? It was just yeah. telling the story and then finding it. They just threw one little DHV in it without bragging too much. Sometimes it's brag, 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 brag. And it's like, uh, I don't believe this guy. So to make it believable, you can have one type of brag, right? Pre-selection, leader of men, protector of loved ones, willingness to go, successful risk taker. And it's just the type of thing, like if you're talking to Eminem, uh, his stories are all gonna be geared around uh, his world, his lifestyle, so certain keywords are bragging spikes. Like his, uh, his tour bus broke down. Just an example, you know? Tour bus broke down. Is that a DLV? Well, it's a tour bus, and I have one. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. So that's a DHV? Yeah. Right? Uh, you don't want DLVs, demonstrations of lower value. You know? Yeah, we all got drunk last night, you know, and my buddy, he was puking in the gutter. <laughs> and I make, you know, and you laugh, you laugh and, and we're making Please a joke came. of it. But you know how many times I hear this stuff, and the girls know, they just <laughs> feel that this guy has no value for them. You know? Some people, by hanging out with them, you'll feel your value, you're, like, your chances of survival and replication will go dramatically down if you hang with him. Like, why don't we want to hang with this dude? Yeah. What is it about this kid yeah. that yeah. we don't want to hang with him? There's DLVs that were just being out of him, <laughs> right? If there were if there were DHVs, we'd want to we'd say, hey, sit down. On. Yeah, have it, have it down. <laughs> Have, have a sit down. Like the two set that we were talking with uh, uh, yesterday. He looked, the guy looked cool because he was with a girl. So we presume we have to respect that. You know, he's a cool, cool cat, right? And they had food at the park, right? So there's like, all these people, they have a greater value. Like these dudes, you have to respect more because uh, they've got like two guys, three girls, one of them is cute. You know, maybe the other two are, you can't tell. Right? But we give them more value. So that's what we're attempting to do in our DHVs, is demonstrate the value. You don't have to just brag it out. Sometimes you're starting from scratch and you gotta brag it out. So that's why we have certain DHV enriched material. Some stories only convey that you're a successful risk taker. Some stories only convey that you're pre-selected. Some stories convey more than one of the DHV, uh, you know, the different types of DHV spikes. And that's the art. The art is putting enough in, right, to make it believable, not doing too much. Or you could say, we get along, we get along, eh, we get along. That tension makes it more believable that I'm not just a kiss ass. Yeah. Similarly, in a routine, DHV, 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 DHV may not be believable, but DHV, DLV, DHV, DHV, DLV makes it more believable. Right? And these little DLVs could be the little ones. You know, little DLVs. But maybe the DLVs could be like a fake DLV and could be really nice to a moat. And so you can have your cry or have a bad yeah. day or whatever, be oh, embarrassed. Yeah, it's like, oh, oh, he's a crier? Well, that's a DLV. But that's also built into humanity, you know? So follow that up with a couple of DHVs and they're gonna believe it more. Fair? So actually it's a false DLV, right? It's a willingness well, to emote. And it, uh, sure. Which is a DLV. Sure. Which is, uh, which is, which a, is DHV. a DHV, yeah. really, you know? Yeah. It's, uh, but exactly, that's what it is. It's the, that's the art of the brag, mm. the art, the art of, of DHV. It's like when you're uh, at a job interview and they ask you like, what are you, what do you that's think you're exactly, bad quality? That's exactly what yeah. popped up. So you need to like, say something that's kind of negative, I'm, I'm but in the end it's actually positive. I'm a bit of a perfectionist. I know it gets in the way. <laughs> oh, it doesn't. Yeah, yeah. 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 but it's true. This, this one, everyone now it's knows. Cliche. Right? It's cliche, right? Yeah. But I was literally, that when that popped up in your head, the it's exact same story was what in my head and I was going to convey that. So that's exactly it. You know? They're fake DLVs. You know? They're ones that are little. Little DLVs. But the DHVs could be more high impact. Right? 
what do you think of uh, making jokes about yourself, kind of like making fun of yourself? Uh, yeah, self-deprecating humor. Uh, I, I think, you know, they can work, right? They can definitely work, especially yeah. when they don't believe you, you know? Like, uh, an example of that is, I actually, you know, I in Barcelona, <laughs> I had some very painful uh, uh, surgery. I had an implant, I had a penis implant. So now I'm now four inches, and uh, it's really uh, changed my life. <laughs> right? I had a penis reduction, and now it's just four inches. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Some girls Complete. don't like it that way. <laughs> they don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> two, two fishermen are standing uh, on a bridge. <laughs> two fishermen are standing by uh, on a bridge by the river, or a river, and they they both decide to uh, take a leap at the same time. And one of them says, Woo! "The water's cold," and the other one says, "And deep." Thank you. Thank you very much. But enough about my penis. What do you think of my penis? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> That's a routine compliment, but I'll accept it. <laughs> little sound bites, little sound bites. Wow, wow, we 
I'm in Bali, just completed an excellent set. It was a four set, all female. I isolated my interest and it went great. I hope that you're getting out of the house too and having great sets. Now the secret to my success, practice. I practiced. bexter has been forcing me to get out of the house and we've been gaming hard. You should be gaming hard too. It gets you calibrated. My material is up to speed, phase by phase in the structure. My delivery is down. I'm having enough volume and velocity of sets that I've got the experience now to work a single set in this venue and attract the girl. They've gone to dance right now, but they'll be back in just a moment. I can't talk for long, but I can tell you what one man can do, another can do. We're going to Vegas in three weeks time and I want you to come with us. Take our PUA boot camp and your life will never be the same. Join us, you are invited. Hi dear. My friend. I gotta go. All right, part two to the story. She came back and I simply said, are you WhatsApp friendly? And she said, sure. And I now have her WhatsApp. It's much better than saying, can I have your number? We don't go for that. Being WhatsApp friendly is a great way of number closing. A great way of communicating with each other because you can always press that little camera button and speak face to face rather than hiding behind a wall of text. Stop texting them and start spiritually connecting by reaching each other face to face. It's a good set. My first set of the night. Bexter, how long was that set? I would say about 20 minutes. 20 minutes is long enough. But getting a phone number in three minutes, expecting it to hook, is foolhardy. It's worth the paper it's written on. It's called wood. 20 minutes is a good set. Anywhere generally from 25 to 40 minutes, if not two hours by hanging out with them on an instant date. Just some food for thought to improve your game. One more thought while I still have your attention. It's not about skill set use before you have skill set development. Develop your skill first. Do what I did. For me to have the success I had tonight and pretty much all the nights I've been out, I focused on skill set development for a time in the future when a woman of particular quality came along. I then had the skill set to attract her. Focus instead on skill set development, working on your material and the delivery of that material. That's what you should be working on, going out and practicing for the future. So stage one is skill set development, stage two is skill set use, and stage three is, of all the girls you've met in stage two, stage three is, pick one then you have the options. All right, over and out.